Hi, my name is John Schwartzstrom, and I'm here to show you about the Kangen water and the Kangen water machine. Now, I've traveled all over the world. I've traveled to Russia, Ukraine, uh, Dominican Republic, all over the world, sharing this great uh, product. And I want to show you how it's made a difference in my life, and I hope it makes a difference in your life. Uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to start off, and we're going to show a couple of the products here uh, that you normally drink. Uh, you probably see all these products up here that. Uh, I don't know about you, but I used to drink a lot of these. I just think that uh, a lot, drinking a lot of water and things like that are good for you. And uh, I'm hopefully going to show you some really cool things that you're going to really take to heart. Uh, first of all, we got Dasani water. Okay, Dasani water. This is a product that's actually made by Coca-Cola, and uh, it's actually pulled from the Detroit. Or I'm sorry, this is actually pulled from Atlanta. Atlanta tap water. They run through a filter, and then they uh, sell it to you. And uh, there is our Dasani water. Okay, this is an Aquafina. This is actually made by Pepsi. This is the one that's actually pulled from the Detroit River. They run through a filter, they sell it to you, and uh, you drink it. Okay, it costs less than a penny to make this. Okay, okay. Next, we have some Smart Water. Okay, this is uh, a lot of people are pretty pretty gung ho about this water. This is a uh, Reverse osmosis water. Okay. Right next to that, we have some vitamin water. This was voted worst health drink by Men's Fitness Magazine, believe it or not. And uh, we're going to take a look at this one and see what, what exactly is in it. Right next to that, we have some Pedialyte. Now, the Pedialyte's a little bit harder to open up. Um, a lot of people like to give this to their kids. And. Um, we're going to see exactly what's inside here and see if we want to give this to our kids anymore. Okay, so here's Pedialyte. Okay. Right next to that, we have some Propel. Propel is actually made by Gatorade, okay? So this is a product of Gatorade. It's basically the same thing. Uh, what's interesting about this product here is it says it's got antioxidants, it's got vitamins, etc. And uh, there's not a whole lot of ways that you can regulate those things, but they actually say that it has a lot of those things in there. So here we got some Propel. Okay. Right next to that, we have some Perrier. And this is one of the first bottled waters out there. And I remember when this first came on the market, it's pretty popular. Okay, so here we have some Perrier. And by the way, this represents all your like San Pellegrino, uh, all your sparkling waters, things like that. And uh, there we go with Perrier. Right next to that, we have our 7-Up. This basically represents all of your colas, all of your Cokes, Pepsi, Sprites, Mountain Dews, things like that. Okay. There we go with our 7-Up. Right next to that, we have our tap water. And we just got this from here in Hermosa Beach. So this is our Hermosa Beach tap water. Okay, and then lastly, we got our Kongen water. Okay, and this is the star of the show, people. And I just made this about five minutes ago, right over the sink. Okay, there we go. Now, First thing we're going to do is we're actually going to talk about the alkalinity in the water. Now, according to Dr. Otto Warburg, um, he actually won the Nobel Prize for cancer. And he says a cancer, disease, and sickness can't live in an alkaline environment. And what he would do is he'd actually take tumors in animals and found that there's a blood supply going in the tumor and a blood supply going out of the tumor. And he found that the blood supply going out of the tumor, the blood became very acidic. So what he would do is he put very alkaline blood into the tumor and find it shrinking and going away. Well, we all know that our body is 70% water. Our blood is 90% water. We're going to take a look at these now and see how alkaline or acidic these beverages are. Here is Dasani water. Okay, So these are pH drops, by the way. You can get these in any pool supply store. And uh, we actually have a pH chart here. And we can see right down here uh, in the green. And the green is going to be anything that is neutral. And uh, as we go further this way, we can see that that becomes more acidic. So we want to stay away from the orange and the yellow and be this direction, which is more in the purple. Okay? 
So here we go with the sign. Again, we don't, want, we don't want to be in the orange, we want to be in the purple. And there is the sign. As you can see, that's pretty acidic, right? Very orange. I think water is water, but as you can see, this is very acidic. Here is Aquafina, okay? Also acidic, okay? And by the way, uh, when you're in the orange, if you happen to be in the orange, you went from orange to yellow, that means you're 10 times more alkaline. If you went from orange to this green here, okay, that means you're 100 times more alkaline. So if we went from the orange to the purple, that actually means you're a million times more alkaline. Here we go with uh, smart water, okay? Also acidic. Here is vitamin water, acidic. Here's Propel, okay? I'm sorry, this is a Pedialyte. Again, that's acidic. Here's Propel, representing Gatorade and all your sport drinks, also acidic. Here is Perrier, also acidic. Here's 7-Up, acidic. Here's tap water. Now, you can see that the tap water here is very neutral, a little bit on the alkaline side. Now, what's very interesting about that is the reason it's neutral is by government mandate, they take lime and put it into the tap water because tap water is normally found in this state right here, acidic. And they put lye in the water because if, and by the way, lye is one of the main ingredients in Drano. It's the main ingredient in soap. And uh, they put lye in the water because if water was in this state right here, very acidic, it would rust pipes underneath your house. So as you can see, the government's more concerned about the pipes underneath your house than they're about pipes in your body because that costs them a lot of money to fix. And that's why it's got this line there and it's that nice neutral color. And here we have the Kangen water, which is free of lye and free of those chemicals. And as you can see, it's that nice deep rich purple color that you want. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this Kangen water and we're gonna take a little bit here and add it to the Dasani water and we're gonna see what happens. See if maybe we can get it to green or something. So here we go with just a little bit of the Kangen water. Look at that. We actually take it from an acidic state to an alkaline state. Here we go with Aquafina. Okay, take it from an acidic state to an alkaline state. Here we go with Smart Water. Okay, take it from an acidic state to an alkaline state. Here we go with Vitamin Water. All right, <laughs> as you can see, it's very acidic. It actually takes about 22 glasses of the Kangen water to neutralize one of the vitamin water. That's how acidic the vitamin water is. Here is Propel, or, uh, Pedialyte. A lot of people like to give this to their kids. Okay? Very acidic. Actually takes about 20 glasses of the Kangen water to neutralize one of the Pedialyte. Here we go with Propel. Representing Gatorade and all your sport drinks, okay? Takes 25 glasses of the Kangen water to neutralize one glass of the Propel or Gatorade. Here is, and we're gonna make this a little interesting here. We'll take a little bit out here. Here we got the uh, Perrier again. It struggles, right? But it goes back to the yellow. It takes 19 glasses of the Kangen water, neutralize one glass of Perrier or San Pellegrino, those drinks. Here we have tap water, okay, make it more alkaline. Here is 7-Up representing all your soft drinks. Look at that. Takes 32 glasses of the Kangen water, neutralize one glass of Coke, Sprite, Diet Coke, Mountain Dew. That's how acidic they are, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this 7-Up here, okay? And we're gonna take the cap off. And we're gonna take one cap full of the 7-Up, okay? And we're gonna put it in here. Look at that, just killed it. Here we go with the Aquafina. Okay, just killed that. Here we go with uh, Smart. Okay, you can see a pattern here. Here we go with uh, Tap Water. And finally, here's Pure Kangen Water. Okay, and you give these a little stir here, and it struggles and it struggles, and it finally just turns to acidic, okay? And, uh, you don't want to sit it in your body. You definitely want alkalinity. 
And I would love to share this in your home. If you want to call the 1-800 number down the bottom or just email me and I will personally get back to you and I can actually show you some of these uh, properties of the water in your home.